why NRM have been losing in Imbali is because NRM fights against each other. They can decide to support a different person from their own, and uh, which, which is not really good. Politics was never his dream. These traffic policemen used to chase vehicles. He wanted to become a traffic police officer. But eventually, as you grow up, some things come your way. But ended up an architect and later a politician. The son of the late Batulumai Wasieba was born in Musike village in Manafa district. He grew up in a humble background with three sisters and two brothers. I also went to senior secondary school in the Kampala High and uh, thereafter I got a, uh, a job with a, a private firm of architects uh, in Kampala here. It was after he trained as an architect that he worked in Nairobi, Kenya before moving to Zambia and later to Malawi. I needed to see my parents and I thought by then, we used to have Uganda Airlines as the, the no, no, not Uganda Airlines, East African Airlines, and it was the only airline that he used to tot around. So I thought, supposing they called me that my parents were sick, how would I quickly respond? So I thought, being in Ilongo as far, uh, of course, what I did now was to come back uh, in Uganda. His venture into politics is something he initially never saw coming, only to be encouraged by then prominent businessman Kafumbe Mukasa. So in 1994, by the time they, we went for uh, elections for the Constituent Assembly, uh, I had only been encouraged and eventually when I stood, we, together with the, uh, Professor Timothy Wangusa, who was the council member of the county by then. So as we, when we stood, I, somehow the people gave me the vote. And that is how he began his political career as a delegate to the Constituent Assembly for Buburo West County. Prior to this, he had been elected a member of the National Resistance Council. Because of his dedication to service, Wasieba was appointed Minister of State for Works transport and communication. The appointment shocked him, but he took it. I vividly remember the date, 18th uh, uh, November 1994. So in the evening, as I went to Camp Mbali to buy a few provisions for the house, I met uh, the assistant RDC then, or he was called uh, Henry Rijemera. He told me, he said, hey, congratulations. I said, for what? He said, oh, you have been uh, appointed a minister. Oh, this was on 18th of November. Oh, of course, I couldn't believe it. In 2001, he lost interest in politics, at least temporarily, when he says he was intimidated by his opponent, whom he says masterminded the killing of his bodyguard. He only bounced back in 2004, after the death of James Wapa Haburo when a political vacuum was created in Imbale municipality. Although we had the other people, including the former justice, uh, George Masika, Chief Justice, George Masika, uh, he stood, uh, Honorable Hassan Galiwango, uh, and until recently, the director of mobilization in NRM also stood, plus a few others, and uh, somehow God was still on my side, I, I won the election. He, however, did not contest in 2006 elections after he lost the NRM primaries to Hassan Waswa Galiwango. He ended up as an RDC for Bududa district with the attempt to claim Bubulo West County, proving futile. My people of Bubulo West came and asked me, said, why don't you come back? So I went back, I stood, but I had a competitor called Kipoi. Kipoi, you must have heard about Kipoi. So, uh, Tony Kipoi came to parliament, but he, uh, when it is not God who has appointed you, when you use 
uh, when you are appointed by satanic forces, you eventually don't last long. He has since retreated to farming, majoring in animal husbandry, a venture he proudly talks about. Even when he has no plans to rejoin politics, he is impressed with the new constituencies recently established in the new city of Mbali. But this time around, I've, my, my, my nephew, Augustine Mutenyo, uh, I, I, I encouraged him and I'm supporting him to see that he, uh, he takes over one of the constituencies in Mbali municipality. Sylvester Wanjusi Wasieba, a senior politician with extensive professional experience in architecture and public administration, is currently a board member at Uganda Communications Commission. The family man with children spends his free time at his goat farm in Ibogisu. He is also the board chairperson of National Housing Corporation. Henry Okrut, UBC.